I recently bought the Xbox One X, specifically the Cyberpunk 2077 model, for the great price of $380 Canadian before tax, which translates to a bit less than $300 US dollars. For a console capable of 4K gaming, which is very important for me because I have a fairly large 4K TV, this seems to be a great deal. But the next generation of consoles is right around the corner, and so that does bring up a difficult question. Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and today we're taking a look at the Xbox One X. Is it still worth buying in 2020? <laughs> So to answer the question right out of the gate here, generally I'd say no, the Xbox One X is no longer worth buying. You should wait for the Xbox Series X and put your money towards that. However, with deals and discounts being more common than ever, it might be tempting to just go ahead and grab it, especially if you've been itching to get into 4K gaming. As it stands, the Xbox One X is technically the most powerful console available to buy right now. The PS4 Pro is no slouch, but the Xbox One X is able to play the majority of newer titles in 4K, often at 60 FPS, whereas the PS4 Pro to hit 60 FPS usually needs to stick around 1440p or 1080p. Just in general, it's not as capable as the Xbox One X, but that doesn't really matter so much with the next generation of consoles coming around. What does matter is that all the new games coming for the Xbox Series X at the end of this year are going to still be available on Xbox One, and Microsoft intends to keep this the case for their own games for at least the next couple of years. That means Halo Infinite will be fully playable on Xbox One. This is a very consumer-friendly decision on Xbox's part, and when Sony isn't following. There's going to be a lot of PS5 exclusives from day one. That's actually a big reason why I bought the Xbox One X. I plan on buying the PS5 later this year when it comes out. Not only do I prefer their exclusives, but Xbox games will be also available on older hardware as well as PC. I do own a PC, and it's a fairly beefy one with a 9900K and RTX 2700 Super, but I wanted something easy to use with my TV so I could game from my couch, a position I find much more comfortable than hunched over my keyboard. For any games where frame rate matters, like shooters, I'll stick to my PC, but otherwise I enjoy playing it on Xbox. I did have an Xbox One S, but I really had an itch for some 4K gaming. Couple that with the spectacular, in my opinion, design of the Cyberpunk Xbox One X, Cyberpunk also being included, and of course the whole package only being about 300 bucks, and I was fully on board. Uh, and just uh, pause for a sec here, look at this design, it is gorgeous. I love the aesthetic here, even though I don't really know what to expect from Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. I'm not sure if it's a game we'll really enjoy. I tried The Witcher 3 and wasn't huge on it, which is a very unpopular opinion, but I only played a couple hours of it, so that's probably why. Uh, regardless, this console looks gorgeous, and the general design of the Xbox One X is very sleek as well. It's really not much bigger than the Xbox One S, and I was actually surprised by that considering how much beefier the hardware is. Now yes, I am kind of dumb for not just waiting for the PS5, especially because I already have the One S, and my PC can play any new Xbox games coming out. But uh, this video here does ensure that the Xbox is a tax write-off, so there's that. And I've been enjoying playing the console a lot. I was very disappointed to realize something I should have researched beforehand. A lot of games that came out before the Xbox One X in 2017 haven't been updated to take advantage of the hardware. Recently I was going through a bit of Assassin's Creed Unity again, a game I haven't played in years, and I was quite disappointed that I was stuck playing in 1080p. Although generally performance should be better than the original or One S, thanks to the stronger hardware. Where am I going with this? Well, the Xbox One X, or any Xbox One really, shouldn't be worth it for most of you. But for those who just can't wait to a game in 4K, or don't care about the next generation, or want to get the PS5 down the line instead, and has a lot of money to spend, with a good discount, the Xbox One X is an enticing option. As we get closer to the next generation launch, as well as afterwards, prices are just going to keep going down. It might even be worth it to pick up the One X after the Series X comes out, as prices likely will get slashed even further. This is alright and fun, but to buy it right now, you actually need to find an Xbox One in the first place, and that might be more difficult than one would expect. Current Amazon listings are almost all overpriced and pretty short in stock, and even the Microsoft website doesn't have any available. Best Buy doesn't seem to have it either, and the limited selection may only get worse as time goes on here. The Cyberpunk system was the final special edition Xbox to be released, so it's really tough to say where you can find and buy an Xbox One X. GameStop does have it for $360 bucks, used or refurbished, and that's pretty 
bad. I would expect to see it advertised more as we approach Black Friday and the holiday season, as stores are going to want to clear out inventory, but right at this moment of nearly August 2020, it's pretty darn difficult to get a hold of one. But have no fear, the used market is here. Turning to eBay.com, we're seeing some absolutely absurd prices. Apparently it's a good thing I got the Cyberpunk Xbox when I did, because it already seems to be worth about double what I paid for it. That's ridiculous, and while some of this price gouging may be due to current world events, right now it looks like buying a console in general is much more difficult than it should be. Mind you, there are some reasonable prices, but if you're not getting it for around 300 bucks, I'd say it isn't worth it, especially if you have to go with used or refurbished. And to be clear, if you look around or take some time to participate in some bidding wars, you might find a deal. The best place to look is probably your local online marketplace, such as Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Oftentimes, people just want to get rid of stuff and get cash quick, and with the new consoles coming out, a lot of people are going to want to sell their Xbox so that they can afford that. Of course, with the current situation of, you know, the world ending and all, uh, you might want to be careful with uh, doing any local transactions, so just be smart about it. Ultimately, while the Xbox One X is absolutely worth what I paid for it in 2020, it isn't worth what I'm finding it for right now. Funnily enough, I went into this review planning on fully recommending the Xbox One X. After all, I've really enjoyed it, and the price I've paid for it seemed very fair. But the price you might have to pay from the places I've mentioned isn't fair, and so you'd be better off putting that money towards the Xbox Series X. And actually, you'd probably be better off doing that anyways. The Xbox Series X hardware is going to completely outclass the Xbox One X. This is a very exciting time to be into video games. The next generation of consoles for once aren't going to be just underpowered PCs packaged and sold for 400 bucks. They're basically going to be high-end PCs, if not better, and that is pretty awesome. I think a lot of us, if we did put our money into something like the Xbox One X, and you know, they're not a YouTuber like me, they'd probably regret not just putting that money towards the next round of consoles. And of course, if you already have an Xbox One, just get the Series X. Don't pull a me and get the 4K system despite already having a perfectly fine One S. I don't regret the purchase, but if I wasn't a tech YouTuber who can spend his money a little bit more loosely than others when it comes to tech, it definitely wouldn't have been a smart move. I'm pretty much about done here. There's not a lot to say. The Xbox One X, as much as it was worth what I paid for it, in my opinion, unless you can find it for that, and even if you can, you're probably better off waiting for the next generation. But what do you think? Any of you own the Xbox One or One S or One X? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, also, what game are you most excited for that was announced at the uh, Xbox conference? Let me know. For me, it's, it's definitely Halo Infinite, even though it looks... Uh controversial, to say in the least. If you found this video interesting or even helpful, maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this. You can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at 91 underscore tech if you'd like to for some reason. And with that all being said, thank you so much for watching. I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.